I'm extremely proud um, of the men in that locker room. Uh, I just told them that they continue to impress me uh, by the way they just overcome adversity and circle the wagons and come together. And uh, that definitely wasn't a team out there today was trying to tank it. You know, these guys right here have come together. Uh, they believe in one another. And it's about trying to win football games. And uh, I'm excited about the win today. It's a lot that we can build on. We're going to get back in here tomorrow, watch the tape, uh, continue to build on the things that we did well, correct the things that we need to correct, and see if we can try to go on the road and get another divisional win. And with that, I'll take your questions. How would you grade each phase of football today, and where do you go from here? Uh, I think it's hard to try to grade it without really trying to look in depth to the tape. But we got a win today. I thought it was complimentary in all three phases. I thought we did a good job. Um, you know, on third down defensively, getting off the field. And, of course, up front, offensive line did a great job in controlling the line of scrimmage. We had 173 yards rushing, and I thought we executed in the kicking game. How big of a boost was Deontay in the running game for you guys? He had a couple of those big runs in the second half. It was a major boost. And as we talked about before, it was going to be by committee. I thought all those guys did a great job. Uh, Blackshear came in there, and he got his first run. Uh, so I'm, I'm very proud uh, of the game plan that we had offensively. Uh, I'm proud of the coaches and how they got these guys ready to play. And I'm mostly proud of the players and how they executed. How, how much did that word tank bother you this week? When you, you know, uh, it, it didn't bother me at, at all because I really keep my focus uh, on the men in this room right here each and every day. Uh, but I just wanted to put it out there to let you know that these men in this room have too much, too much character. All right, even even five and something like that. So, uh, again, just excited about the win today. You talk about the effort of PJ and did he earn a chance to start again that day? Uh, PJ had an outstanding performance. And, you know, uh, when you look at what he did today, still got to evaluate the tape. Uh, it's going to be hard to try to pull him out. You needed to, you needed to stop the run on, on, on defense, but the passing defense really showed up in this one and a lot of rotating pieces. What did you take away from the performance of your secondary? Well, I, w I would say this. We always want to try to make them one-dimensional. I told you guys earlier in the week, you know, I didn't want to get um, Fournette going. And when you talk about the best to ever play the game, and really any of these quarterbacks in this league, it's going to be hard to really stop them from getting that passing yardage. But we do got to do a much better job in tightening things up a little bit. I felt like we were getting too much on the outside, on the perimeter with the quick outs and the uh, hitches. Do you think a moment just appreciate the personal milestone as the guy who went to West Charlotte to get the – Hometown win, first time. Uh, it, it feels good, but you know, I, I know it's a broken record, man. But I really try not to keep the the focus on me. Uh, it's about team, you know, one of eleven, uh, many parts and one body of work. That's what I believe in. The so you quarter, touched you... on the adversity that this team has faced. How much did these men need this win? Uh, well, you know, we needed it in, in a big way because I felt like we were just so close, and uh, we wanted to really see the fruits of our labor. And that's what I kept telling the guys. You know, we're close. Just keep pressing, keep pressing. And uh, we found a way to finish today. Steve, is there any way that without Christian, it sort of forced Ben, yourself maybe, to kind of be a little bit more breadth, a little more spread out in terms of getting others involved offensively? I, I don't want to say that that was the case. I thought we pretty much had a great game plan coming in. Our focus was to do exactly what we did, regardless who was in there, which really trying to spread it out a little bit and push the ball down the field, which I thought P.J. did a great job today. Steve, this defense has had games where they have played well early and kind of yielded late, whether it was too many plays out on the field or what. What was the difference today? I think the difference was the mindset that those guys uh, wanted to finish, you know, and that was a huge fourth down stop. And I think it was a momentum builder for us just confidence-wise uh, to be able to stop those guys and get off the field. So I thought the defense did a good job today. I, I, last, last week you said you were impressed by D.J. Moore's effort blocking. Where did he impress you most today? Well, you know, we, we talked to him a little bit more today, and I thought he came up with some, some critical catches uh, at key times. So um, he's a guy that we definitely got to get the ball to more. And um, I'm really excited, you know, moving forward and, and just really seeing him continue to grow this year. The second quarter, there was a decision not to go for just a little over 50-yard field goal. Can you talk about that decision? Well, uh, again, it was just a mere fact. I felt like we had good momentum, and um, I didn't really want to try to press it. I talked to uh, the special teams coach, and we didn't really feel too confident about it. So that's the reason why. I, I know you don't want to make stuff about you, but what does it say uh, about the locker room that they've kind of grabbed
gravitated towards you taking over after all the adversity they found, felt originally? Well, I, I, again, I just think it's just really trying to set the tone, and I make it about them. I make it about us. You know, I stood in front of these guys at the beginning when I first took over here, and I said, you know, in order for us to go forward, we're going to have to surrender their individual me all right, for the greater we. And that's what it's all about. You know, it's not about certain individuals. It's not about me. So when we continue to keep the focus on us, I think we have a chance. So you know, in the division, like what statement did this team make today? Well, you know, I, we, we came back uh, from L.A., and, and I told the guys on Monday, you know, we played hard. We didn't finish. But, you know, for the next, uh, you know, three of the next four are divisional games. So we can find ourselves by taking it one at a time, really being right back in the, in, in the mix of things. So uh, it was good today to get this win, divisional win, and we're on the road next week going to Atlanta. And we've got to have a great week of uh, preparation and practice, and we'll see what we can do when we get down there. You're only about 48 hours removed or so from Deal and Christian, and that followed the Robbie trade. Was there something that galvanized this team in, in the last couple of days, something you said or one of the players said, a team meeting or, you know, at the hotel, what have you? Well, I mean, you know, last night, you know, we talked about um, – I, I, I really went back and uh, had a highlight film – of, of the past and the great divisional games and the rivals that we had. Uh, and, and it talked about really make that jump. And we emphasized and talked about that. And, you know, I told guys, man, you, we, we got to just go out there with a leap of faith and believe in one another and know that we can get this thing done. And once we do, we'll take off. So uh, that was really the point of emphasis last night. And guys really bought into that. And, uh, and, and we took the jump today. So I'm excited. You threw, uh, threw deep with P.J. on the very first play of the game. What did that symbolize? Well, it, it showed that we weren't going to sit back, that we were going to be aggressive. And it showed that we, you know, uh, wanted to push the ball down the field and try to really see what we can get. And, uh, again, a divisional game at home, uh, we felt like we wanted to be able to be aggressive today. What did you think was his very best throw of the day? Uh, it's, it's hard to say that. That one to Tommy in, in the corner out of the end zone was pretty impressive. Was there a game ball given out, and if so, who received that? Um, a game ball was given out to uh, PJ, um, you know, just with his performance today. Uh, recognized the uh, offensive line and the running backs. Uh, what a great job that they did up front. And, um, you know, that was all the game balls given out to the players. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.